Right, right, Ian, right. We did a poll on our Instagram to see if you guys wanted a haul only car boot video. And at the time of recording, about 50 of you voted yes and only three of you voted no. So it ended up being like 90 odd percent people wanted it. So here we have it, a car boot haul video only. No car boot footage, unfortunately, just the haul. Uh, because to be honest, it was absolutely lashing it down with rain when we first got there. And to be fair, I didn't even feel like recording. However, the haul is so good for how much money we spent. I just wanted to uh, share it with you. So I'm glad you guys wanted this video. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. We spent £150. And there's a couple of items there that are probably £100 each anyway. So money is well, well saved. Thank you, guys. Let's enjoy the haul. Like I said, we spent £150 on everything you're going to see. And we're going to start off with some clothing right here, right now. We have a pair of linen trousers. Uh, they are from the brand Sea Salt Cornwall. Absolutely, really, really, really beautiful brand. Some really nice dresses. We sell the dresses for £25. These are really nice trousers. Should be able to get £20, £25 for them as well. We then have a Jules jumper. Nice peachy, pinky colour. Uh, it's got one of them like sort of like schnood type of things a little bit wet because like i said it was absolutely raining brand new with its tag 60 dollar rrp they've cut the uh great british pounds off but they've left the dollar sign so it's probably like a 40 pound brand new jumper should be able to get at least 25 if not 30 pounds for that i would have thought we then have a brand new and sealed marvel splendor uh, board game Never heard of it. However, brand new Marvel. It's got four on the front. Pay two pound. Looking on eBay, should be able to get twenty eight pound for that. So, for easy maths, twenty five pound all day long. We then have a wool fat face jumper. Beautiful. Paid five pound. Should be able to get twenty five pound in the winter. It's really nice and soft. Um, nice wool knitted jumper. That looks like a beigey white colour to me. But anyway, should be able to get £25 back from that. Now, this is an unusual pickup, but probably one of my favourite pickups. It's just cool. I don't know if any of you guys have played a Little Big Planet, but this is in fact Sackboy from Little Big Planet. Um, it's also a Stanley version variant of him, so he's a little bit rarer than the normal sort of Sackboy. Um, should be able to get £25 and paid £1 and 50 pence we then paid eight pound for all these game star wars three clone wars will be sent into cex for about two pound trading and then we have pokemon sun which will be able to sell on ebay with its man wells should be able to sell that on ebay for about 20 i've already got that for my pokemon collection so i'm gonna let that go and then these three, we can just literally bundle fodder with a, a Wii or two that we've got. Because uh, believe it or not, we've still got about 25 Wiis. So we're forever looking out for Wii bundle fodder games. Love the colour of these Converse's. They're like a sort of like dark grey mar with this sort of like rose gold. Sort of tinted button pieces. Look at that. And anglets. Hey, look, this is a, new, this is a word that I just find hilarious. This little thing here it's actually called an aglet but yeah uk size seven really loving that color look at that that's a beaut should be able to get uh, about 25 pound a blu-ray 3d player tested and working paid seven should be able to get 30 35 pound with its matching remote always do be on the lookout for blu-ray players there's a lot of money to be made um especially if it's 3d if it's 4k then it's thought you're talking bank if it's got its remote, it adds value. If it's got its power, it adds value. Obviously, if you can chuck in a free HDMI, it helps it sell it a little bit faster. All them good things means that you can charge maximum money for it. Should be able to get 30 to 35 pound back from this beautiful Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player. This is also tested and fully working. Let's turn it on just so you guys can see. Um, it does turn on, but I'm gonna have to play obviously um turn it down because you know i don't want to get copyright and all that stuff this is a brand called goji never really heard of it i've heard of it once and i don't know where i've heard it from however i saw it in the rain and i thought th two things 
Probably was working before the rain hit it because it was absolutely soaked. And also, do I really want to be buying electronic items when it's been raining and lashing down for the last 25, 30 minutes? And the answer to both of them questions was absolutely flipping yes. Of course, I wanted to buy a sodden wet radio. 25, 30 pounds, fully tested, fully working, video evidence, bish bash, flipping bosh. Got some boring items here, if I'm being honest with you guys. Um... Well, maybe not boring for some of you, but they're just nice bread and butter items. We have a Lost Paradise Baja. Is it Baja? Beja? Body, body scrub. Yeah, something to make your body look nice and gleaming and beautiful. Um, maybe that's kind of something I need to, to, to try. But it should be £10, paid 50p. The Ordinary is a great brand that I've sold before on Amazon. Obviously not going to sell this on Amazon because it's not sealed or anything. Uh, but The Ordinary is a really, really good brand. should be able to get 10 to £12 back on that. And then Calf Kidston Purse, again, bread and butter items. It's so, so important to keep buying your bread and butter items because that's kind of what makes your business an actual business, right? It should be about 12 to £15. We then have a bundle of five nights at Freddy Figures. We paid £2 for the whole bundle, and there's at least five figures here. Just going to show you them and talk about them looking at sold you probably get like seven to ten pound each per one but i think we're just going to bundle them up as a as a five lot and probably ask like 30 quid i think it's pretty doable we obviously have freddy here then we have foxy here and i'm not too sure on these people's names i only know these two because i've sold them on amazon before uh but they yeah, are from 2017 and 2016 volcom should be asking like 30 quid so yeah not too shibby shabby we have a we fit board boxed you're probably thinking kieran why on earth are you buying we fit boards well we do really really well with we fit boards i will pay probably up towards a, a fiver if the battery compartment is clean which this one is and we'll probably sell this with its box for about 30 pound with a couple of games it's actually astronomical how much we stuff heaps its value but then that is the power of Nintendo, right? Anything Nintendo holds its value. We then have this massive Duplo base plate. We sell these on a multi-listing. It's probably ended by the time of recording, but we did have a multi-listing of these base plates because we always seem to find them and they sell rapid for about 13 pound and we paid one pound. So it's a really nice size. It is a 24 stud by 24. Beautiful. Unusual pickup. I don't tend to pick up too much gaming items because I never blim and see it before anybody else. But this is a Halo 3 limited edition Essentials Xbox 360. It comes complete with its manual and both discs. It's got disc one. And disc two should be able to get at least fifteen pound, and it's a large letter. We then have a five pound Jaeger hundred percent silk dress. Look at that, beautiful. Complete wrong time of year, considering it's absolutely wash out this morning. Should be able to get thirty quid for that. It's that beautiful brand again, Phase Eight. We were actually talking the other day about stopping picking up Phase Eight because we haven't sold a Phase Eight dress in for a while. But as soon as we had that conversation. Within about the same day, within about three hours, we sold three phase eight. It's a mental how eBay works. So then we've started picking up again. Should be able to get 20 to 25 pounds. We then picked up a, another calf Kidston bag. A nice turquoise and pinky floral. It's got double bags. So it's got one bit on the front and then a compartment at the back. And it's also got a secret compartment in the middle. So it's a three way compartment calf kidston bag absolutely beautiful beautiful piece should be able to get maybe 25 pounds we then have this thing this is absolutely massive this is little life baby carrier it has seen better days it's absolutely filthy and then when i was dropping it in the car i noticed one of the clips was actually broken so i'm hoping i can buy a replacement clip now i can't see it yeah this thing here look i'm sure i can get a replacement clip maybe I don't know. His baby was a messy git, let's put it that way. Unless he fell down a mountain. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I don't know what he did, but it's absolutely filthy. Um, should be able to get... If I can get a new clip, we're going to aim for 55. If I can't get a new clip, should be able to get like 
maybe 35, maybe a little bit more. Next up, we have a couple of brand new pairs of trainers shoes. We have a pair of Clark slip-ons. Look at them, absolutely beautiful. Paid a tenner, but Clark's bread and butter items. Should be able to get like at least 40 quid for these. These are pretty cool. I think they're from like 2004. So they are technically vintage now. They are a pair of Reebok Integrity Campania RSs. Brand new in their box. Are they technically now dead stock being that old? They are UK size nine and a half. There was something about brand new pair of metal stud football boots that I just cannot say no to, especially in the 2004 era. I've seen used ones sell for 30 and I've seen brand new ones sell for 18. We have three more items to go through and they're probably the best three items in terms of monetary value and how much we paid for them and how much we are going to get back. And I'm going to start off with, I bought a toilet. That is correct, guys. I bought a toilet at a car boot sale. Look at this. This is the toilet I bought. I can't believe I bought a toilet. <laughs> I have sold this exact one before, brand new. This is brand new inbox, guys. I will not be touching a used one of these toilets. This is the Fetford Porty Potty 365. I'm guessing the 365 means 365 days of the year you can use this beautiful toilet. It is brand new. I will show you it's brand new in a minute. Um, three year warranty probably doesn't exist anymore, but you never know. Perfect for camping. I believe the buyer, or the seller, sorry, was saying he was going to go fishing and then he decided against going fishing and wanted to sell the toilet. So I asked him about the fishing rods and he just said he's left them in his garage. And I asked him about if he was ever going fishing ever again. He said, probably not. Unbelievable. I never thought I'd see the day. This item, it cost us £15, but it's the Facebook portal. And I had seen adverts on this a while back and I've never seen one in the wild, never seen one in a store. And then I find one at a car boot flipping sale. Like, unbelievable. Basically, this is like a portable picture frame looking thing. And you can connect your Facebook uh, to it. And you can do video calls with your friends, your family and all that good stuff from a picture frame looking like thing. It has got a little bit of weight to it. Um, these brand new are selling for over £100 plus, like 110 120 I think pre-owned in its box. It does work. It comes with the charger. I did that in the actual store. I went to turn it and nearly smashed it. Um, but comes with everything. Looks good. It looks really nice. And it's flipping weighty. Should be able to get anywhere between like 75 to 80 pounds. And we paid 15 pounds. Which kind of leads me onto a question which I want you guys to answer in the comment section below. What is your maximum I like price that you pay for an item at a car boot sale? What do you seem as a an expensive deal at a car boot? I think anything over like £25 pound, um, is quite an expensive buy at a car boot. But don't be afraid to spend money on top quality items because this works and is a quality item. And I can see this sort of appealing to a lot of people, especially over at Christmas time. And on that subject, we actually spent £35 pound on the last item which you're going to see, which are these patent leather Doc Martins. DMs, Dr. Martins. Doc Martens, whatever you want to call them, but these are really cool. We paid £35, but as you can see from the beautiful camera work that I'm doing right now, you can see they are in absolutely excellent condition. Beautiful pair. They are UK size 5. Um, they're stunning. £35 should be able to push £100, especially now in the Q4. There is sales of up to about £90, £80, £90 now. But we're just probably going to lob them on for a hundred pound and see what happens. I don't see why we can't reach sort of the ninety to a hundred pound mark. If we're being brutally honest, because they are in absolutely phenomenal condition, hardly been worn, plenty of life left. Thirty five quid should be able to get about a one hundred smackaroonies. I have not said that word in absolute ages. And that, guys is the end of the haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did enjoy that video, please do me one huge favor before you go, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. And I promise I will get car boot videos out with footage this time. Just completely forgot to do it. Like I said, we weren't actually gonna go to the car boot this morning, but 
I thought it deserved a little bit of haul and you guys agreed over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description below or just type in rummage around store on your Instagram, Instagram search engine and it'll pop up with hopefully me. Um, I do want to buy rummage around Instagram page. So if any of you guys have just rummage around, please let me know and I'll, buy, I'll pay for it. I'll buy it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here and I'll see you soon. Bish, bash, flipping boss.